It's simply the best. Tina, the Tina Turner musical, is now on tour, rolling across America. Here's Paul Wontorek. That's right, Tamsin. Tina, the Tina Turner musical, is hitting the road with two talented newcomers sharing the lead role. I met up with Naomi Rogers and Zurin Villanueva to talk more at the Civilian Hotel. It's so incredible to me, two young newcomers who are about to do something truly amazing. You're about to both play Tina Turner on the road in Tina the Musical. Where are the emotions right now? Oh, I'm, I'm buzzing all of the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, kind of pinching myself every time I'm done with the number. I'm like, oh, ah, Tina, Tina. But by the number, do you mean River Deep Mountain High? Uh -huh, See, that, that is the number. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but also the mega mix, you know? Oh, oh that's right. That's uh, the one mix. that really makes you feel like you're doing a rock concert and you're really just giving Tina a farewell tour, like on the stage, get it, you're all the final pose. That's when it really hit. The audiences love, you know, a, a musical about one of their favorite icons. They love to hear all the songs. And of course, Tina Turner has an incredible life story. Angela Bassett taught us that many years ago when What's Love Got to Do It? They yes, came out. Did. And Adrian Warren, of course, won a yes. Tony Award for, for playing it on Broadway. This is a very unique arrangement. You're sharing the role of Tina, so you're each going to do four performances. Mm -hmm. For both of you, just a huge opportunity to, to yeah. get a role of this magnitude. I'm sure it's the opportunity you've been waiting for your whole career is up to this moment. This is my first principal on a huge production. Uh -huh. Done lots of yeah. lots of stuff on regional theaters, sure. and off Broadway. I did um, play Dion and Clueless a few years back, uh -huh. and that was the first principal in New York City. But mm -hmm. this is like huge production, and yeah. I was like, when I got the email, because my my agent tried to call me and I was somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so I got the email and I literally stared at the wall for like 45 minutes because I couldn't believe it. I was, it was half hour before going on. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and um, my agents had called me a couple hours before saying, you know, like, yeah, they said they loved you. And, that, and then all I know is I, two hours later, I get a call and I'm like, not them calling me again. I go, yes. And as soon as they go, okay, we've got the other agent on the phone and I was like don't you I didn't even let them I said don't you tell me don't you tell me I got Tina Turner don't you tell me I'm about to be Tina Turner on the first last tour of Tina Turner and then they go you're gonna be Tina and I go ah. so I wake the whole entire hallway up the boys dressing room is over there the girls dressing room is right here I go I look at my company manager stage manager I go I got it I got it I got it everybody oh comes God. out there dressing rooms and it's like what and I just get a round of applause for like a good five minutes it was the oh it was the most gosh. joyous moment I've ever had in my entire life this is a physically exhausting role. I know from talking to past uh, other performers who played it. How do you prepare for, for doing this? A lot of carbs because <laughs> I'm trying to eat. The first week and the first day of rehearsal, we did the mega mix. Wow. And it was like, it was intense. And it wow. was just drilling and getting your stamina up. And it's all about repetition, mm -hmm. honestly. It sure. gets easier once you find your groove. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like I feel like when Tina was on tour, if I'm if I'm just thinking realistically, I feel like she didn't have time to be at the gym. She was mm -hmm. on tour, on a world tour, you yeah. know? She was getting she was getting her workout in while she was on stage. Yeah. Her hair's all wet and sweaty and things yeah. like that. So you're burning those calories. And I know she was like, can I get a pasta and bread please right afterwards you know what I'm yeah. saying it's really just trying to get those calories back into my body like uh -huh. you think it's just like oh it's easy you just have to eat it is so not easy you have to drink way more water, water. to compensate for all of the food you're eating mm -hmm. so like I've literally just been eating the story is so strong and it's so beautifully mm -hmm. told and it really feels like you've experience this whole journey with this woman mm -hmm. and the songs are pretty good <laughs> you know. so any personal favorites if you had to choose one like right now maybe like what are you enjoying the most in rehearsal or better be good to me is one of my mm. favorite songs it's just i when i listen to her studio version i go i ah, sing to me tina but also the way that we interpret it in the show is just powerful it is yeah. it is i agree i concur and i um i add a simply the best yeah. I love that song. <laughs> yeah. I just love it. Better than all the rest. I really, I really Better just, it just, <laughs> it just sits.